Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Caleb Carvanos and welcome to Strike for Running episode four. First of all, I wanna give you guys a huge thank you for watching uh, episodes one, two, and three. Um, those episodes, uh, they were a lot of fun to make, um, especially the third one, which is pretty much one of my favorite videos I've ever made in my entire life. <laughs> um, it just really meant a lot to me. And, um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching uh, my, the past episodes of this series and for also watching my other videos on, uh, the channel. Um, today we're going to be specifically just drilling, uh, wall runs because I have not done a single wall run this entire series. And that used to be one of my favorite things is to like scale walls or run across a wall. And so um, I actually haven't done one in a really long time. And so we're going to take it back and we're just going to drill that this entire episode. And uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys uh it started raining pretty hard it still is and um so i decided i'm gonna close off the episode here um but i want to thank you guys so much for watching and uh i hope you guys enjoyed it i didn't do a whole lot of parkour in this episode actually um i really just drilled the wall the wall climb or wall run like i said i was but there really wasn't a whole lot going on this episode so if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching um but i also just wanted to close off with some thoughts uh that i've just been having recently and with the message that I've been kind of relearning uh, in just the past few weeks. And that is that progress is not linear. Um, that's something that I've been heavily reminded of recently, um, whether that be in the gym, uh, in in your filmmaking journey, or in your spiritual life. Uh, grow, growth is not, or progress is not linear. And um, that's okay. That's something that I kind of had to learn. That's where I learned the first time in the gym because... When you go to the gym, there are some days when you feel like you could lift the earth. And um, that's obviously not the case, but you just feel like it. And you, you hit a PR and you feel like you're at the top of the world. And then you go to the gym another day and you're not even able to lift your your working sets because you got sick the week before. And um, it's at, at the first time that that had happened to me, it was super disheartening because I was like, man, I've been working so hard for this. Why? Am I just not able to do this? And that was actually the first time I hit 315. After I hit 315 on my deadlift for the first time, I wasn't able to hit it for for a week or two afterwards. And then whenever I was able to hit it again, I hit a plateau. And I was not able to do any heavier than that. And it was really disheartening. But after a while, I was, after like a lot of ups and downs, then I was able to go up to 320, which doesn't, it's not a huge jump. It's just a 2.5 at each end. But to me, it was the biggest jump ever because I was out of that plateau. And um, especially, like, I've had to learn that with my films as well. I remember uh, I made The Mind Reaper, the first one, and I was really proud of it. And it's it's something that I'm still... I'm not, like, super... I'm, yeah, I'm proud of it. <laughs> uh, but then the short film after that was The Neon Nightmare. And The Neon Nightmare is something that I am not very proud of, really, at all. Because I, I view that short film as a failure. I view that short film as something that I'm I'm not very proud of. And I remember whenever it released, I was really doubting myself. I was like, man, is this 
what all of this work has been for is just for me to fail at one short film. And uh, I was like, no, like I, I need to continue on. And that's also whenever I was developing Darkness Falls and that was my biggest short film that I was ever going to do um, at the time. And uh, I was like, no, I got to continue on forward and I'll, I will get better as I go. And uh, I still made Darkness Falls and it came out and it came out pretty good. You know, the intro was extremely long like just looking back on it whenever I was making the director's commentary the intro was so long it's like five minutes and it's a 10 minute short film like what anyway (laughs) but even with that like with with each and every uh step you take you learn and um that goes with your spiritual life as well because a lot of times you'll slip up and you'll stumble and you get disheartened whenever you fall or you stumble and it's it's super disheartening and you're like all of this work dang it and it's it's not about not failing it's about keeping your gaze ahead which is something proverbs 425 says and it's just about focusing forward and continuing on forward even when you don't feel like it and that's that's something that i've just been kind of reminded of in just the past couple of weeks is that progress isn't linear um and that whenever you do hit those low spots just to keep on going forward and uh, keep on trying because if you're failing that means that you're trying and that means that you're doing something and that is worth a lot and so yeah that's going to be pretty much it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching episode four and i will see you next episode when i hopefully don't get um soaking wet during the video but hey we'll see what happens (laughs) anyway strike out